Well, uh, Scotty, it, it, it all comes down to really understanding the absolute control in all the different industries that humanity faces. Um, starting at the energy, the electricity supply, the petroleum control of the giant corporations around the world that, that ensure and go to extreme lengths to make sure that alternative energy sources uh, do not uh, reach the people. Um, and um, it goes to the control of the pharmaceutical industries, it goes to control, uh, you know, uh, and so forth. So it's the control of the people that, that once you realize that, it, you realize how, how easy it is to create abundance in a community. Um, and therefore, once people have access to cheap or virtually free electricity and the supply of energy, um, everything changes. And this is why the, the provision of free or virtually free electricity within the Ubuntu model is paramount to the foundation of creating Ubuntu and contributionist communities. And Sid mentioned the word um, earlier is that, you know, in Ubuntu villages and Ubuntu communities, the whole philosophy is, is to create an abundance, not just to create self-sustaining communities. And this is the big difference between Ubuntu and contributionist communities and self-sustained communities. Self-sustaining communities worry about sustaining themselves. Ubuntu communities worry about sustaining themselves and producing three times as much as what they need in every area of their, of their needs in that community. So they'll create, in our community, we'll create three times as much fish as we need in the fish farm that's not currently standing empty and deserted. Um, we'll create three times as much butter and bread and milk and, and vegetables and and whatever it is, building materials. And why can we do that? We can do that because we are providing the people of the community with a cheap or a virtually free source of electricity. Once that flow of electricity is going, and uh, you then use that as leverage for the people to say, right, everybody is going to get free or virtually free electricity. But in return, for that, get, receiving that electricity, you have to contribute three hours or five or six hours, whatever it is, a week. But it's a small amount. Three, let's stick with three hours. Three hours a week towards one of the community projects of your choice, whether it's working in the bakery or planting seedlings or breeding fish or making butter, uh, or if you're a chemical engineer working in the sewage, trying to figure out different ways of dealing with sewage disposal. And the interesting thing is that if you've got a community of a 1,000 people, uh, suddenly you have 3,000 hours a week of people contributing their skills towards uh, these various diverse community projects. Now, you can see very quickly, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out very quickly that every week, 3,000 hours a week is a lot of hours that people are going to be doing things and creating things for their own community in return for getting free electricity. Now, at that moment, I think everyone will realize that we change the concept of scarcity and economy, economizing into the philosophy of abundance, creating abundance on the scale that we currently in our capitalistic restraints cannot imagine.